in this video, I want to break down all the expenses, uh, monthly expenses, and also uh, what it took to build this fan. I'm going to show you a list that I have. This video is going to be quite long. Um, bear with it because it is going to be a lot of valuable information. Um, I'm not going to cut anything out while I'm actually going over the lists because I want you guys to see uh, what I was thinking, um, the thought process behind the lists. So just just bear in you know bear bear with the video. My name is Ryan Bell, and I live in a completely self-built camper van. My only expenses right now are food, gas, internet, uh, and phone, which uh, that is covered within the $400 monthly expenses. Step one for me was I had a vision. It was a childhood dream in this case, just to live out in nature. I had watched a video on YouTube of a girl living in her car, so that made me uh, envision living in a camper van uh, that I had built you know, from uh, just watching YouTube videos and everything like that. Uh, didn't really get any help otherwise. Uh, so that was my vision. I just got really excited about it every single day and I would just constantly talk about it, uh, that I was going to do this. A lot of people didn't believe in me, but you know, they didn't stop me. I'm in it right now. Um, I'll show you around and tell you some what of the costs are of some of these items so you get a good perspective on um, what it'll take you to actually build something like this. Step two, sell everything you own. Um, here's a list. This is my very first uh, page. This was done about a year ago. I had um, a car that was valued at this number right here. It was a car that I bought while I was in the Navy. So during the Navy I had built up a lot of uh, loans and just things I had to repay, just bills that I was going out. I had a storage unit that I had to sell. Um, so I had to sell the storage uh, inside there and get rid of that bill, then build the money till the car could be sold. I actually had to um, uh, build up some money to sell my car because I was upside down on that. Um, and th a lot of these things right here, they're all crossed off because they're all sold now, at least most of them are. Um, and you can see I put values right next to them to think about how much I, I, I could get. A lot of what I thought I could get wasn't actually true, it was a lot lower than that. But still, I saved up in the end about $3,000, which that bought me the van itself. Every single day I was going on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and everything like that. I was just searching uh, for the, the right van for me. I finally found uh, just a regular size 2002 Ford E150 on Facebook Marketplace. It was in Raleigh, so I only had to go a little bit because I live in Chapel Hill and Durham area of North Carolina so I didn't have to really travel much but that's what I chose that's what I'm sitting in right now um, but yeah this is this is my first list and these are the things I was selling I, I used Facebook marketplace to sell these items I didn't really use any other medium to sell these things and they all went pretty quickly I sold all this stuff within two uh, months and there's a little bit more over here um, this was my plan to sell a storage unit, put the money towards the car. When the car was paid uh, to around 4000 then I would you know, trade it in for the van. That didn't work out though. Um, I did pay it down to around 4000 but then I sold it for $6,000. Um, let us see, I was going to change the tires my, uh, on the uh, van itself um, because these tires are actually, uh, they, they still have uh, dents in the rims. Uh, but it's not it's not so bad to where it really shakes too much or anything and there's not a lot of wear and tear on the tire So I just kind of prolong that still need to do that um, So that will be an expense of about $700 uh, Coming up, but that's something I can push off for now because it's not a huge issue um, and all the rest of that and then here is a list so this was um, the car's value at the time uh, that loan number, I don't care if you see it by the way, it's already done with. Um, let's see, I was building tables at the time, so I was getting money, like this is a $500 table I sold. Uh, I sold my AR-15 for about $500. Uh, here's where I sold uh, the car, I would get that much. And I just kept saying, like, you know, these, these, that's what exactly what I was getting for my job. I was working a very minimum wage job, only making about this per two weeks. Um, so you see, I didn't really have much to go off with the job, so I actually had to sell some stuff. 
uh, right here I sold everything from the storage unit this is what I was making and it ended up making about 3200 I think on this uh, let's see let's go to the next page nothing and this is me again listing off things that I needed to sell um, there's a little bit more on this that I didn't sell from the first part of the list and I, I, you just kept, I just kept going along with this. And here's some more as well with the prices that I thought I would get. And um, then I, I made another over here which I didn't really utilize. But I, I made another um, part which is what I actually sold for. Um, I didn't really keep up. I was just using it mainly for the list. And then I finally had gotten my van. Just a really quick recap so far. Step one vision just envision what you want um, and just be excited about that if it's not something you're excited about you're not going to do it um, step two sell everything you own um, put it on facebook marketplace just think through all the stuff you have put it down on the list and um, then step three uh, uh, lower your bills see if you can sell a really expensive car you won't need a car in this lifestyle because you're on the road anyway uh, you won't need a lot of things like a storage unit. Um, see if you can use your parents house or a relative's house to store like, you know, the little bit left over that you can't sell. Uh, but yeah, that's where we are right now. So on to the next step. So step four, buy the van. Um, and I, at this point I had already bought in the van and, uh, this is a list of things and all scratched out and everything, um, of stuff I wanted to buy for the initial part of the build. So um, I initially wanted a 190 amp hour battery. I wanted 12 uh, volts uh, batteries, but I never got that. I got two six volts. Um, they cost about actually that much, 340 um, in total for both of them. So uh, the batteries I got $340. The solar panel um, I ended up, uh, where is it? Solar panel I ended up buying for $200. Um, and then the solar charge controller, I got an MPPT uh, solar charge controller that cost me about 163. So in all, about 700 dollars just for the electricity alone, and that is electricity that regenerates itself. Uh, once you have that, you don't, you know, you're good on power. You don't have to pay a monthly power bill at that point. Um, the next stuff I got, I have an inverter. I just had an old one. I still do. I'm going to uh, upgrade my inverter, though. It's going to cost about $80 for a 1,200-watt um, max inverter, which is all I need. I'm not going to be powering anything that heats stuff up, uh, which that's energy-intensive. So I'm just really powering um, what you see on here, uh, which is actually these speakers, these laptops, uh, the the um, motor that makes the water come out of the sink. Um, I'm really just powering uh, very few things right now. Um, the uh, Actually, this this cord right here, which is powering my phone that I'm holding. Uh, the uh, internet. Um, yeah, pretty much, like, it's not too much, but I do have a music studio in here, and that uses a lot of power when I'm making music. Also, I have the... Um, uh, air purifier over there now um, if you're interested go watch my other video I have a video describing um, how much power all of these appliance is used I um, put it out in amps uh, there's another video if you go back a few um, I'll link right here what it's called and I'll link to it um, but yeah this is pretty much what I was buying uh, there's the propane tank that's about $30 LED strips. I do have LED strips up behind here for like, you know, I put it in party mode and make it a shag wagon. That was only $20 and that, that goes to the beat of the music too. It flashes on and off. Um, there's a bike. I still haven't gotten the bike, but that's going to cost me about $220-ish. Um, wire. I needed to buy wire to connect all of them. You can see some wires up here. Um, there, there's, there's just wires all behind all the stuff. Uh, that's not too much money. That was about 40-ish dollars, I'd say. Um, the outlets, I have uh, a lot of the 12-volt outlets. The wood for the ceiling, that was cedar. Uh, I think that, what does it say here? Wood for ceiling. That's not 150 It was about more like $100 for that wood. 
then the wood for all this stuff. Um, wood for walls. I wouldn't say that costs any more than 150 to be honest. Uh, wood for pantry, which the pantry's right here. That's a that's that 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 really didn't cost too much. I'd say about eighty dollars right there. Um, and you don't have to get a lot of wood. You don't even have to get new wood. I, I did though. Um, I bought my stuff at Home Depot. Um, the bed mattress I'm sitting on that costs. Uh, I, I got it uh, at FoamFactory.com. Uh, it's it's really nice. Uh, if I lift up the things right here, you can see there's two layers. This um, the blue layer below. That's like this higher density, and then this is um, softer density. I really like that, and um, that right here, the bed cost me about $200, uh, which it's definitely worth getting a nice bed. Um, and I got a full-sized uh, mattress, um, and then I just cut it. Uh, this this right here, what's down here is a twin, and then the rest of this I can actually put down into this space to make a full bed all the way across at night. So I just cut that up with um, a knife um, so that's how much that costs let's see monitors these monitors cost $300 that's just for my moon music studio um, wheels and tires that's I haven't done that yet so uh, that's just for my first thing I never actually got that Nikon camera by the way I just decided against it because I'm using my phone instead um, here's another thing from my Max Air fan that I got up here, that was about two hundred fifty dollars. I got the nice one. It's uh, it has this um, remote right here. I can do it automatically. It'll open it electronically instead of having to crank it open. Uh, here's the next page. So the fridge, um, I I just bought the fridge. It didn't come in the mail yet. That was about four hundred dollars. I got the Dometic CC forty US. Um, which I highly recommend because I've already tried it out with a friend's uh, a friend bought it from mine um, His works amazingly. It only uses about an amp an hour um, the stove uh, That stove right here. It's a propane. I have my tank under here um, that uh, Stove itself costs only a hundred dollars uh, the sink costs uh, This part is about I think that was thirty dollars and then the actual sink itself was fifty um, and then this back thing, that's actually a heat shield that came with this, but I decided to use it as a backing for the sink instead because that this part didn't get hot when this was working. So, you know, that, that just came on with that. That was like, um, well, they, they, just to just give you uh, like this wood stove and everything attached to it, that was about $1,000. A friend bought that though. I did not actually buy that myself. Um, let's see what else. Uh smart TV I have not yet gotten that that but that's gonna cost about 180 um, I'm gonna put the smart TV right here uh, let's see toilet I did not get a toilet yet um, so I mean that we live in a world full of toilets and we don't really need them in this lifestyle uh, unless it's an emergency you know and you know what you do in an emergency in a van we have bottles <laughs> uh, See battery watering system. So uh, along with the energy system that I described before, there's also this battery watering system. You can't see it, but um, up above here, there's these things that plug into the battery um, part where you put the water in. Because I have uh, flooded lead acid batteries, all I do is this little hose down here. Um, this system right here cost about seventy dollars. I put a little um, uh, thing where you squeeze the water into it. Um, so that's seventy dollars just to so you don't ever have to open up the battery and actually get into it. I would highly recommend that. That makes maintenance so much easier. Uh, let's see, solar shower. I never got that. I was gonna make my own solar shower where I put PVC pipe on top of the van and then filled it up with water and painted it black so it would heat up in the sun for our warm showers wherever I was. I never did that. I might still do that in the future. I would only say that would be a hundred dollars total because that's only PVC pipe and we're talking about the bigger one so it holds a few gallons. Um, vent for the battery, uh, that was only about ten dollars. There is a vent on the exterior um, behind the battery so it can air out because that battery does off gas. Um, bad you know, fumes and everything like that so you don't want to be breathing that in. Uh, let's see, the Verizon Unlimited 3G, this is what allows me to get internet everywhere I go. Um, this is unlimited and I only pay $5 a month for this internet. 
This is uh, the, you can unplug it. This is it right here. And uh, I can turn the screen on for you guys. This thing was about $90 total. And after that, you get the first two months free. And uh, you have to do what's called flashing it. You call a number and then um, you just pay and then you get another month free. Uh, or I mean, you get another month for $5. And uh, that keeps you going with internet. 3G, it's a little bit slower, but it's enough to where almost uh, wherever I go, at least if I have that one bar, wherever I go, I can basically stream movies and everything off Hulu and Netflix almost seamlessly. It's, it doesn't seem to go any slower or faster than uh, you know house speeds. Really, it really doesn't. I haven't noticed a huge difference. Uh, it doesn't really seem to take much longer to load either. Um, there's my thing for uh, schematics for the lighting system up here. There's wires. It's it's um, uh, in parallel. Yeah, it's a parallel, uh, not a series. Um, let's see. I was thinking of getting into retrial arbitrage to make money from the road. Here's the uh, kitchen and studio shelf. This is me like brainstorming through how I was gonna build things. Um, and in all this 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 helps me a lot in the workflow uh if you want to pause the video real quick just to read what i said then um let's see energy i was trying to put together if the solar panel would definitely power everything i had and uh this is wrong by the way it's one amp for the refrigerator i didn't actually fill this out because all in all it definitely does power it all i have is a 150 watt panel which like i said cost me only 200 dollars that definitely helps power everything and I can leave things on all day long and I would never run out of power. Um, and it would, uh, the sun definitely, um, even at this brightness, uh, fills the battery up plenty. Uh, let's see, this is me more um, brainstorming for more building. Um, if you want to see that, just pause the video and look at it. Um, let's see, this is more of me brainstorming what I was going to buy. See wheels and tires again. That would be around that much money. The wood stove. That is not a correct number. Let's see. DV. Uh, like I said, that was about a thousand dollars. And I keep I keep listing things over and over, um, just because I hadn't bought it at that point. But now I finally bought things. Um, let's see. LP and MO detector. You definitely want some detectors for deadly gases and um, things. So those detectors are very cheap, actually. Let's see, Verizon Unlimited, I finally had bought that. Um, still never bought the toilet. Cedar on the bedside, I never did that. I didn't care to. Um, this wood was plenty enough, and I have it on this side too, against the bed. Um, weather station, instead of getting a really expensive weather station, I just got that for, I think that was like $20, <coughs> and it works perfectly. It just doesn't actually measure the outside. Uh, temperature only the inside see the bed sheets and bed comforter. I went with uh, This what I'm sitting on right now. This is bamboo 100% bamboo on the outside. I heard the inside of it's polyester, but uh, This this right here is also bamboo the bamboo helps. Uh, it's naturally Antimicrobial meaning it's not going to smell over time uh, from use um, It's going to kill the bacteria and everything from sweating at night and stuff like that and um, plus it's really comfortable and uh, it keeps you warm in the winter time and it's also good for the summertime because when you you know when you sweat it soaks um, it, it pushes the uh, moisture away from your body so you're not um, like overly uh, you know soaked while you're sleeping if that if, if it comes to that remember you're in a van you can travel away from the hot weather uh, let's see, I have a life straw, um, but you can also get the bottles, um, fire extinguisher, I have mine around the corner right down here, I can't see it right here, but, um, the fire extinguisher is about 30-ish dollars, um, bed heater, I was gonna get a bed heater, but that would take a few amps, so I think about three amps at minimum, um, and that, would be about 50-ish dollars, I'd say. Then I was just thinking about getting a foot heater, which would be a little bit less amps, um, just to put on the end of, end of my bed, like underneath underneath this uh, cover, just to stay down there. I never did that, but I'm thinking of doing that next winter. Uh, 
here's the next one. So upgrades, I was finally getting down to uh, more of what it is today in the van. Um, let's see, pantry doors. So I put up the doors, what you see right here. That's actually um, reclaimed wood. Uh, that was my old studio table for making music. I just cut my studio table apart and glossed it up and that became the doors. So I didn't actually pay any money um, for that. Uh, let's see, bed support, extended bed frame. Yeah, that's me building the extended bed frame so it would turn into a uh, full size bed at night. Um, rubber door, refrigerator. Yeah, this is just basically me putting a lot of um, more work into stuff just to make it more livable. And I, yeah, the mirror right here that that um only cost about twenty dollars. I ended up getting the six panels, but I only used three of them. But that's about twenty, like I said. Here's the next stuff. So I moved over to Norfolk for a while in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, and here's what I was going to do over there. I was going to get a water pump. That would have been like $70. Um, now I have a pump down there that, that makes the uh, sink work. But I was also going to make it um, pump water from like a stream or a lake from the outside using a hose. Um, and then it would pump it up to a filter and then push it through. That whole system, if I do that is going to be about a hundred, maybe, maybe a little bit more, maybe $150. Um, let's see RV packing. This is me uh, thinking about what I would put in here when I was moving in. You can pause it on that if you want to look. There's a lot more than just this though. This is just me thinking about stuff I didn't normally think about. Um, just what a buddy was going to pack if he came with me, which didn't. Uh, shutter, let's see, this is more brainstorming, uh, splash guard, like I said, I put that thing up there, um, these are more upgrades, and then, this is me moving over here, I had to wear dress shirts and everything for the job I'm currently at, um, buy and fix, so here's more stuff, I was gonna get a Roku TV, possibly, um, so I could have Hulu wherever I go and Netflix and not have to use a lot of power to because these computers use like five amps or three to five amps each. So, I mean, you know, you don't want to run your battery down. So get a TV because they use very little power. Um, objectives. These are my current objectives, actually. This, this is me right now. Save at least $3,000 from um, my current job, build a Fiverr freelancing business, which I'm currently doing, and finish the build. Right now, the only thing I need right now is the TV and the um, refrigerator is on its way. And I'm going to get a bicycle, the collapsible bicycle. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's it then. Um, this is actually my, my current page that I'm leaving it on. But yes, that's um, what I'm currently doing to the van. Let me just show you around a little bit so you can see 2002 Ford 150 from the outside. Um, I'm about to actually buy a little cap for that so it doesn't look so obviously unstealthy. Um, so I'll just take the top part of that off and put a cap on it and then it'll be a lot lower um, for when I'm not using it in the summertime. There's my solar panel and there's my um, fan, Max Air fan. If I come up here, I'll show you real quick. That's the solar panel, $200 solar panel. And if you look underneath it, that's where I put my, um, uh, you know, the, the wires go into the band metal. And uh, that's the Max Air fan. And then the chimney for the wood stove. And this is the van itself right here. Music studio. Um, just everything and yeah that part comes down right here making the full bed all the way across so I have plenty of room in here and it's still just a tiny regular size van there's the vent I was talking about $20 about um, these rims and everything I love but I do have to replace those eventually they're not really wearing down too much over time as you can see there's still a good amount of um, uh, grip there. That's basically the van. 
So here's my pantry um, in all. This is it. Um, so I have things like elbow um, macaroni type stuff, rice roni. I have couscous and quinoa normally. Um, you know, I'm just I'm just basically here's some tea. Just basically uh, that that's like cheaper stuff. I'm trying to eat cheap, not the healthiest stuff right now. Um, cocoa mix. Uh, here's some uh, the instant oatmeal grits. Uh, stuff I can cook in the van on the burner. Um, I got some of the cheaper uh, Publix, you know, things like that. I like Publix better than Food Lion at this point. They have much better um, uh, selection. You know, I got a lot of this stuff. Um, all of this stuff that's in here currently cost about $50. I have a lot of these canned items down here. Uh, the canned items right now are more of my go-to thing. I can get stuff like these spinach leaf and everything. That, that'll really fuel me for the day. Um, and then I get things like this. It's just a whole meal um, soup and everything like that. And then I'll get like mixed vegetables uh, to carry me, uh, give me more power for the day. And then I'll have like canned meats. Um, right now I don't have my uh, refrigerator. That's why I have canned meats. Uh, as soon as I get my refrigerator, we'll sure it'll go down here. Um, I'll have uh, a lot more uh, meat in here that'll actually be able to give me protein. Um, I've been eating lots of uh, chicken noodle soup, to be honest. And um, I got this from my work. It's all in Korean. I have no idea what it is, to be honest. I just put it in here. I'll probably eventually eat it. I have no fucking idea. I'm a risk taker, though. I'll eat it. <laughs> um, more chicken noodle soup. And then I got all my condiments over here. It's like salt and just everything. Olive oil, hot sauce, uh, stuff like that. And then, of course, the paper towel roll. I got some absinthe. That's what I drink. Um, I like absinthe. And then um, cans of fruit back there. Oh, I normally have more. I just ate a lot of it. So, um... You need fruit and stuff like that. And then I have um, fish uh, in uh, the canned fish, uh, which is not bad at all. They have uh, good ones in hot sauce and stuff like that. But yeah, that's like $50, and that'll last me for about two weeks. So it's about $100 total for food, um, you know, every month. So like I said, guys, this video was kind of long. Um, if you liked what you saw and you want to know more or, you know, I do a lot of videos other than this one um, on, like, what things cost, how much power things use, just everything. I'm going to, I'm about to do a van uh, tour of the entire van. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, like, just hit subscribe and, like, like the video and, you know, click that little uh, bell button so you'll... Um, get notifications next time I make a video. Um, so I guess that's it. Peace out, guys.